Hey guys, so here is another S Sandersides thing. Um, so yeah. Bad guy. Chapter 1. I'm not always the bad guy. The words lingered in his head as he laid in his bed, staring at the stars. His room didn't have a roof, but of course, none of the others knew that. Nobody had ever ventured into his room before they were all too wary of him. They probably should be warned of him, wary of him. He was wild and unpredictable. He might hurt them. He softly, he scoffed bitterly, bitterly. Knocking on his door caused him to jump slightly, and he rolled his eyes. He was quite comfortable where he was he was the knocking came again and he literally rolled off the bed clamored clamoring to his feet and tugged over to the doorway cracking the door open slightly he sighed as he spied roman he wasn't in a in the mood today what do you want he snapped irritably Thomas is making a video, the fanciful side announced, and Prince faltered, don't you want to come watch it? Not particularly. Come on, anxiety, he pleaded. Thomas is our host. You could at least pretend to be interested. Anxiety closed his eyes and exhaled, fine. It wasn't that he didn't like Thomas. In fact, he was very fond of the boy. It was just that he didn't want to be he didn't want to be disturbed today. It was one of those days. He really just wanted to be left alone. Prince Princey dragged the darker side towards the studio. The studio was the main control room of Thomas's mind. They could watch what he did, hear what he said, and sort of that sort of thing. Anxiety didn't even have to look to know Thomas was stressed, but he didn't know what about that troubled him, not knowing. For once, it wasn't him adding to Thomas's stress. Their young host was doing it all on his own. Without warning, he felt himself being summoned and was immediately dumped in the real world. Anxiety, Thomas welcomed Dolly. What are you do what are you doing here? What do you mean? You summoned me. Anxiety stared at his host in masked concern, noticing the bags under his eyes and the tiredness in his posture. You look horrible. Not my fault, Thomas said lowly, voice harsh like broken glass. Anxiety recoiled slightly. Thomas has never been so aggressive to his sides before. Thomas stared at anxiety. Have you been keeping me up at night? No, he answered honestly. Why do I feel like you're lying? Thomas's face was twisted with suspicion. I'm not. The side prot protested. I've done nothing. Immediately he felt Thomas, Thomas's stress levels rise and panic began to set in. Thomas, if you're not causing me, causing it, then what is? He muttered. Anxiety glanced quickly at the camera. Are you recording? Thomas shook his head. I was, but now he his growing pan panic triggered anxiety's own and both started breathing quickly. Anxiety did the only thing he could think of. Patton Dad appeared almost instantly and quickly took the situation. He turned to anxiety, his eyes soften softening as he took in the Clenched, clenched hands, the trembling breaths, and pale face. 
I thought something was wrong, he murmured. I'm not sure what you've triggered, but I'll deal with it. I didn't do anything, Virgil promised, but... Patton was already turning his attention back to Thomas. Thomas, morality co code soothingly. Thomas, listen to me. Deep breaths. That, that's it. He looked up at Anxiety's mouth. Pinch, you can go now, Anxiety. Numb, he nodded and disappeared. Sh shock coursing through his system. Logan and Roman were gathered in in the studio when he appeared, frowning as they watched Patton take t talk to their host. They turned twin glares on him when he, if only materialized hands, jumped deep into his hoodie pockets. What happened? Roman demanded, and anxiety shook his head. I don't know. He had a panic attack, Patton answered from behind him. Adjusting his glasses, he looked tired. A pretty severe one, too. Plus, he hadn't been sleeping. I told him to go to the doctor to see what, if he can get some something to help. What did you do, anxiety? Prin Princey breathed. I didn't do I did nothing, he said defenselessly. What does... Everybody blame. Why does everybody blame me? No, Sis, statistically, it's you that causes problems. Logic stated. <laughs> Clinically, face devoted of emotion. Anxiety sneered. To put it bluntly, you are the cause of a major. of a majority of thomas's troubles logic Patton scolded but his brown eyes were sorrowful as he gazed at anxiety harsh as it may be though i do agree with logan you do tend to be at the center of a lot of thomas's problems kiddo it's my job anxiety protested what else was he supposed to do we don't require your presence here, Logan said, Finley already turning away. Please leave. Enough, Logan! Patton took a step towards Anxiety, but he flinched away, flinched back. Anxiety? No, it's fine, he smirked, feebly stuffing the hurt down where it would, wouldn't be seen. I'll leave you morons to it. Without another word, he stalked away, willing himself, willing himself into to hold it together at least until he could be alone. He could still feel Thomas's panic thru thrumming in his arm, and he chewed on his lip. Thomas had never reached, reacted that negatively. To him before, and the lack of concrete facts made anxiety skin crawl. For once, anxiety hadn't done anything wrong. Why was he always the bad guy?